Okay, so hello guys, welcome back to BMTV. Back again with another quick shot one. We are blacking out the edge wedges. As you guys can see over there and there, the, the Hyundai I30N badge is already gone. I've removed it. So now we are, we are painting the main edge badge to be black, matte black to be specific. So. we are going to be using rust oleum peel coat so you guys can relax this thing is peelable so as you can see the color is matte black that's the color of the thing this is gonna be the color once we're done so now i'm gonna prep the page make sure it's clean there's no dust then close it up and make sure that everything is nice and proper and then we're gonna start um doing the job You can see I've cleaned it with the first microfiber cloth. I'm now going in with the second one. This is, by the way, you can get this spray at Builders Warehouse and other shops. You can Google it because I know people are going to be asking in the comment where did I get the spray. Builders Warehouse, that's where you can get it. So, this is a masking tape. I'm going to mask all the white side. Make sure that nothing white is. I'm showing up apart from this big circle here. This I don't have to cover, but make sure that the paint it's not affected by the spray. So let's go. Okay, so now everything is covered. I know someone will say this is extreme, but the problem is there's wind where I am. So when you're spray painting, the spray um, if the wind blows, it usually blows to the side and all those things. So I'm trying to make sure that it doesn't um, touch the car in any of the sides. That's why it's covered like this. You don't have to do this when you're doing it on your own. So keep that in mind. Clean your page again. Make sure there's no dust that might have um, popped up when you were when you were making sure that everything is covered. And then you can start painting. It's your painting. Okay, as you guys can see that's the first coat i have four more coats to go then i'm gonna be done let's go now i'm gonna start removing everything and then we'll see how it looks so let's go yeah.
Okay, so now most of the stuff is out. The next thing I'm about to deal with is the insides here and try and trim them up. And then we'll see how everything looks afterwards. So come on, let's go. Okay, so now I'm doing the front, um, same procedure, clean the badge, cover the front, and then we move from there. Okay, as you guys can see here inside, the radiator is there, so I have to make sure that nothing goes to it. So I'm going to put a plastic in here, try and position it in a way that it covers the front, so that I can just remove it when I'm done. Let's go. Okay, you guys can see now I put in the plastic, then I pull it out on the side, so to make sure that it's covering the radiator, so nothing is going to be damaged. So let's go. Now the badge is exposed, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is painting. That's not the car, that's the plastic, so don't worry. I know I might not be doing it right, YouTube, but yeah, at the end of the day, the badge is going to be black. That is what matters. If anyone has an idea, Keep it to themselves. I'm not here to ask for ideas. So this is how the badge is now. I still have to add more coats because I want it to be easy peelable when I'm peeling it. So yeah, I'm going to continue adding more coats and then remove all of this hamors when I'm done. You see the wind? It's the problem. Let's go. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall